there was a strong feeling of kind of impending doom that the invasion was going to happen. Yeah, there was a slightly unreal air. I wanted to show a little bit of however distorted a society that there was a society there. Elements of it were functioning, so I wanted to show some ordinary things. There's a slight feeling of sort of dancing on the deck of the Titanic. <laughs> After American Marines had reached the centre, which was, you know, a few people were there. There were no cheering crowds. I mean, there was, there was people looting things. We'd gone to Yamuk Hospital and uh, of course the electricity had stopped by then, the water had stopped, so you had a mortuary full of bodies that were disintegrating. There was chaos going on, there were, there were, you know, there were bodies everywhere all over the place. There was in the presidential compound, the Americans then had to use bulldozers to bulldoze bodies into graves. There was a stench of blood and sort of death. People had to leave their houses. When they left their houses, long lines of people, they were divided into women and men, checked if there was men dressed as women trying to escape. People getting rounded up. Uh, bagged, you know, zip tied and taken away for questioning. No one quite sure what's going on with them. You, you were going into a world with people with hoods, uh, masks, interpreters or informers. Unnormal, exceptional things start becoming normal and accepted. The victims of the thing were the people in the hood and the people who were holding them captive. I mean, it was a brutalising thing for anyone involved. We heard the explosion, we weren't that far, but we were a quick uh, rapid reaction force, so we were supposed to be going to whatever happened as a sort of backup. The feeling was we were going to be fired on, that there'd be snipers still waiting for people to come. I mean, it was an enormous explosion, enormous to lift something like that and just dump it on the roof. It's probably pretty clear that the thing's been completely destroyed and unfortunately the people inside killed. There was a lot of anger, uh, uncertainty, and people were very, very on edge. If there's supposed to have been an end of hostilities in 2003 with the statue coming down, that quite clearly that was wrong. That wasn't the case. You know, this wasn't in some rural area miles and miles away from the centre of activity. This was in the heart of Baghdad. Morale by American soldiers had been was affected by extending their tour to 15 months from a year. Uh, so there was people killed who uh, their rotation had been extended and they should have been back in the States by then. You're always on that high, heightened sense of uh, alertness. Like you just don't have that, you don't have the rest. The comfort zone, I guess you can call it, to where when you know you're back on the fob, you can you know, you can relax and let loose. You just don't have time. We're not given that, that time to, to recuperate from being out there for six hours and dealing with that to go back out and deal with another six hours. 
You needed to share that experience and uh, kind of walk a mile in someone's shoes to get an idea of what they were going through. I challenge anybody in Congress to, to do my rotation. They don't have to do anything, just come hang out with me and go home at the times I go home and come stay here 15 months with me. Come on. I was with some people when a, what it seemed to be a taxi driver had dropped someone off, uh, not a normal taxi but just someone flagged someone down in the street. This guy was probably just lost and you know got shot and killed. I felt the need to keep going back because it wasn't an Iraqi story. It wasn't just an Iraqi story. It was a British American. It's to do with my life. It's to do with the society I live in as well. It's to do with ideas that set the thing in motion. I, I was just one of a number of people yeah, if no one was going there and no one was doing it, it, it would have uh, been very much easier for the people who instigated it. But that visual absolutely bearing witness in an unmediated way, if you lose that, you lose, I would say, a lot, if not everything. I think what happened still needs to, was important and shouldn't be allowed to just, it needs to be debated still. How did it came about? Those ideas and the arguments for and against, you know, I don't believe that discussion's over.